hello hello guys uh it's bongi here and uh, i have my favorite person here lunga hello hello guys <laughs> anyway this is my best and my best person ever lunga come and say hello hello guys one more time hello hello guys this is lunga <laughs> okay anyway uh, marapot a lenovo it's dead it's not turning on we don't have to think when you are repairing this spot let me show you what we have go ahead press the subscribe button this spot it's fans and uh it's very common for these machines uh to pen to pen here i don't know why but it happens often that they pen without any reason uh let's go ahead let's remove this chip and then we'll take it from there there's no need for us to think and overthink this thing it's easy guys it's it brains off as i said before we just have to remove this chip that's all okay uh, i hope you can see uh the suspense horribly bands let's see i believe we can fix this uh Seras, I believe we can fix this. And I repeat again, I don't know why the spot they they bend this chip every time the spot they bend here. I'm not sure whether this is five volts or three volts, but we'll go ahead, we'll check the schematic. Okay, let's go ahead, let's check the schematic okay so what i did was i have a hard drive with all the schematic bios files and more and more and more so let's look for this type the port number in our case this is cg 520 okay let's say cg 520 let's see if i'll be able to pick up something okay there it is we have the Lenovo. I believe this is a schematic for the Lenovo. And let's check the pin number there. The chip number, sorry, I mean, let's check the chip number. Okay, the chip number there is PU401. Let's go ahead. So, what you do, you search for PU401. okay as you can see this is the 3.3 volts always uh the 3.3 volts always and the side that's it's always shorted i believe it's the 19 volts let's see okay i'm wrong it's not the 19 volts let me see yeah it's, it's 19 volts it's 20 volts yeah there it is pin number one two three okay pin number five four three two but one is ground i think one is ground uh, three vps i'm gonna check oh no 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 it's not ground sorry about that pin number 21 is ground here we have three vps but those four pins let me show you those four pins okay here we are okay good i'm not sure if you can see it. the four pins the four pins are bent those four pins there they are badly damaged and uh we'll have to cut this let me try to remove this 
Okay, this is the, the, the 19 volts, it's got short set, I don't know how, but the 19 volts got short set. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try, we'll use a soldering ink mask to repair this, but let's remove this, try to remove this, the 19 volts is bad, you can see for yourself don't have to tell you you can see how bad how bad it is okay guys anyway we'll be able to repair this it's not that bad because all the pins are there only the 19 volts was affected so what we have to take notes here we have to use a soldering ink mask okay hold on i'm going to look for for alcohol we have to clean this area so that you will see what exactly are we doing otherwise i'm gonna try to pull this up Let's try to pull this up it need to go up i will explain why it needs to go up okay you see the 19 volt is up this pad is up why i'm pulling it up i want to be sure that it doesn't touch what it doesn't touch the ground so underneath this this pad i will put uh the soldering ink mask and let it dry once it's dry then i'll be able to uh to let it dry and uh, yeah, i'll be able to repair the spot so but now what we do this port is only missing the 19 volts but before we continue i want to check something there's uh, an interesting part that i want to check let's check if this port is not shorted to ground if, if the 19 volts is not shorted to ground so let's open the top camera push this aside so now what we do we take your multimeter Turn your meter into continuity mode 20 volts will give you zero zero okay zero zero one pop to ground you check the short no short 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 okay all about here current center no short okay it means there is no short but i'm pretty sure okay guys this doesn't look good it's all it's all it's all the 3.3 is shorted the 3.3 is shorted and uh let me tell you something about this 3.3 thing being shorted you know what when this thing happens when the 19 volts gets shorted with what with the the 3.3 volt the 19 volt when it gets shorted with the 3.3 volts it end up sending a higher voltage into what into uh, 3.3 and then the 3.3 goes straight to a pch within the cpu and it spans what it spans the cpu but we will confirm you will confirm because for now i'm not sure but we will confirm just now there is a short on the 3.3 hope you can see there's a short all right so what you do it's very 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 easy you have to solder a wire there this is what you do take this you put as so you solder a wire there Are we still recording? Uh, I'm done. No, no. I'm recording. Sorry. I'm recording. 
okay now we have the wires so what you do you connect your 19 volts i mean your 3.3 volts there on the shorted 3.3 we want to see what will get hot let's see okay now what you do you take one prop okay wait wait hold on before you do that you have to set your power supply limit your power supply as well let's put two to 3.3 Okay, now it's set to 3.3 and then you put this to ground. Okay, it's connected to ground. Okay, so from here, what you do is easy. Uh, so what you do now, it's easy. I want to prove this, that the CPU is shorted because of this stupid, uh, you know, Lenovo, they, they always, they always do stupid things. I don't really understand why they always do stupid things. For example, they removed the MOSFET. Now, on the new Lenovo's, there is no MOSFET, no those two MOSFETs, the one that's uh, 6 to 19 volts, and then convert it into 3.3 volts always, right? They removed the whole second thing, I believe, is for improvement and for more reasons. But this new chip that they, they are using here, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. It's always gets shorted by the 19 volts, and uh, the 3.3 end up touching the 19 volts and spends what spends the cpu let's prove that theory if i'm wrong or if i'm right i've done plenty of these machines i've seen this case but before i, I lie let's just see let's just see my theory okay guys uh as predicted the cpu is getting warm 